Time for my 2.17 p.m. snack. Now, nothing is gonna stop me from those cookies. Ladies and gentlemen, Garfield and friends. Friends are the... To help you get started, to give you a push on your way. Friends are there. To turn you around, get your feet on the ground for a brand new day. They'll pick you up when you're down. Help you swallow your pride when something inside's got to break on through to the other side. Friends are someone you can open up to. When you feel like you're ready to flip. When you've got the world on your shoulder. Friends are there to give you a tip. Friends are there when you need them. They're even there when you want. For a walk in the park, for a shot in the dark. Friends are there. I don't care. But friends will care for you. We've got to stop that chicken from writing on my logo every week. Well, guys, how would you like to experience something real scary? Mm, John's gonna sing. Something so spooky, you'll never get over it. Mm, he's gonna sing and dance. Oh. We're going to stop at Mystic Manor. It's a real haunted house for tourists to go through. <laughs> oh, no! Mystic Manor has been closed for years. No one is allowed in here. But I heard tourists used to go in. They did go in. They just didn't come out. <laughs> Cheery fella, isn't he? Come on, guys. Let's go check into the motel and get on with this vacation. That's right. We're on vacation. I think I'll just sleep and eat all day. It'll be a nice change. <laughs> When you're late, it delays dinner. Garfield, there's no sun out. Just as well, you can't tan fur. I'm gonna catch a nap before dinner. Garfield, you're in charge of keeping an eye on Odie. Garfield. I didn't need it. Whatever's missing, somebody else took it. Oh, I mean it. If you let Odie get into trouble, no dinner. Look at him there, without a care, without a brain. <laughs> Pasta gravy, more potatoes. What? No cranberry sauce? Sweet potato pie. Oh, you shouldn't have. Oh, yes, you should have. Odie, don't go in there. Oh, well, not my problem. If you let Odie get into trouble, no dinner. Odie, you minus minded mutt, come back here. Odie, you. Boy, this place could use a gardener or Tarzan. Do not pull rope. <laughs> There's your lesson for today, kids. When it says don't pull the rope, don't pull the rope. I just want to find Odie and get out of here. Odie! 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 Odie, Odie, where are you? 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 Garfield the cat is the greatest creature in the world. No chance, no way, no how, no nothing. Boy, I hate an echo that ad lips. <gasps> well, 
That's more like it. This is some sort of trick mirror. Look, it looks like a monster standing behind me. You knew that was going to happen, didn't you? Hey, everybody, surf up! <laughs> you won't get me now, bandage face. <laughs> These things take forever. <laughs> Hi, Odie. Not now, Odie. We have to get out of this place. Do you know how to play Instant Door? Mm -mm. I'll show you. Oh, what a great nap. Guys, let's go get some... What has got you two so frightened? Oh, you went over to Mystic Manor. There's nothing to be afraid of over there. Come on, I'll show you. Mystic Manor is a tourist attraction. It's just an old house, an old, an old, an old. Ah, uh, excuse me. Where did Mystic Manor go? Mystic what? Mystic Manor, the old haunted house that was right here. <laughs> oh, that place. We tore it down a couple of years ago. We've been working for months on this skyscraper. <laughs> That's the ninth one this week, and it's only Tuesday. <laughs> Come on, you worm! I caught ya! Let go! Let go! <laughs> you wouldn't let go, would ya? What do I look like, an idiot? <laughs> Don't answer that. Another worm trap, Booker? Yeah, and the best one yet! Wait till the worm grabs that cheeseburger! <laughs> Booker, that's the stupidest trap you've ever come up with! Roy's right, Booker. It'll never work. No one will ever... Aha! I caught one! <laughs> Who's dumb enough to get caught in a trap like this? <laughs> Sorry, Odie, but you're in the wrong cartoon. Damn it. No. Guys, someone's on the farm who shouldn't be here. We saw him. A cameo guest star. No, I just saw that weasel sneaking around. The weasel? We've got to keep him away from the chicken coop. Or the chickens. Especially the chickens. Go warn everyone. Oh, worry. Oh, many things to dread, many things to fear. So far, I have come up with 7,377 things of which to be afraid. Wait! The weasel's around the yard! Look for him! 7,378... <laughs> the weasel! Help! Weasel concern help! Well, 
I think I'll go get me some chicken to go. <laughs> Assistance and uh, Mayday. There's the weasel. And you caught him, Wade. Wade, you did it. You're a hero. I did it. I'm a hero. One side. Weasel Express coming through. I'll dump him in the next zip code. Wade, I underestimated you. <laughs> That's impossible. I guess we all did. We always thought you were a cowardly duck. You know me well. Yeah, but you see, it turns out you're a hero. A brave, courageous hero. Me? Uh, yeah, I am. <laughs> I'm a hero. A hero am I. I am Wade Hero. Oh, yes, I am a hero. A fearless feathered duck. Come my way for mischief, and boy, you're out of luck! If it's you I catch, you bet your match from a duck that knows no fear. I'm a brave, intrepid hero. At least that's what I hear. Oh, yes, I am a hero, a courageous capitan. I save my friends from trouble, as only heroes can. Step aside, excuse me, please, a hero's coming through. Yes, I said a hero. I'm here to rescue you. Oh, yes, I am a hero. And I don't mess around. I'm dauntless. There's no problem wrestling weasels to the ground. Here he is. Yes, Wade is here. He's here to save the day. Yes, I said a hero. I'll jump into the fray. Once more, I'll be a hero. I mean it. That's okay. Make way for a hero. <laughs> we take large steps. Why do I have the feeling this will be worse than when he was a coward? And so, upon sighting the weasel, I put my own personal danger to one side and hurled it myself at the evil and villainous weasel. Yes, yes, I know, it was selflessly brave of me, but, well, that's just the kind of guy I am. You? Brave? You used to put on a parachute to stand on tiptoe. Uh, you are just jealous of my courage. Your courage? Ha! I laugh in your face. Ha! Ha ha! This is me laughing in your face. You cannot laugh in the face of someone truly heroic as I am. <laughs> now, where was I? Oh, yes, yes. I was discussing my heroism. Well, when I saw the weasel, I thought only of... So then I grabbed the weasel. He pulled a gun on me. No, no, a tank. He had a tank with him. But I, being as brave as I am, was not worried. I disarmed him. Then, then he called in his air support. Dive bombers strafed the farm. But was I afraid? No, sir, Ebo. I am a hero, and a hero fears zero. I don't get it. Orson's acting like he doesn't think Wade's a hero. <laughs> Let's go tell our hero. Why, if I could get my hands on that weasel again, I'd... I'd... Wade! The weasel's back! Wade? The weasel! The weasel! The weasel! The weasel is back! Yes, and you're gonna get rid of him! Just like you did last time! Yeah, but... But... Yeah, but... 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 Man, I wish I had a line in this episode. Hey, but, but... You're our hero, Wade! You told us! No, I'm not a hero! I'm a coward! I didn't catch the weasel last time, and I'm not gonna catch him this time, and the only thing I'm gonna catch is a shuttle bus for the airport! Good place to hide. Place, place, place to hide, please. Place to hide! Oh, police! Give me a police to hide on! Orson, I think the weasel is back. Not so. I've been found. <sighs> no one will find me in here. Oh, are you hiding from the weasel too? Move it! Again. 
again. Yeah, you're a hero. Again. Yes, I am a hero. Yes, I am. <sighs> no, I am not a hero. I am a cowardly waterfowl who's even afraid of water. Hey, what happened? You again? Hey, you keep away from me. Hey, stay away from me, duck. Out of my way. I knew he wasn't a hero. Wade's a hero. He's just a different kind of hero. What kind is that? The craven, cowardly type. Well, it's something. <laughs> What's going on here? Yeah! Mm, much better. This is a famous place in American history, boys. Over there is Yorktown. That's where the last battle of the Revolutionary War was fought. The war was won by General George Washington, who later became our first president. Did you know that some people thought George Washington had wooden teeth? Wooden teeth? Gee, did he have to lacquer after every meal? It was sure exciting to discover that I have a family history dating back to the Revolution. Welcoming committee. I wrote to tell him I was coming, but I didn't expect this. If that's a welcoming committee, I'm Pee Wee Herman. Move it, Arbuckle. But, but I, I don't understand. Psst, over here. I'm Mr. Marion. President of the Historical Society and Village Librarian. I'm John Arbuckle. Why were those people chasing me? <laughs> you don't know? Uh, come with me. That's... that's me? It's not me, but it's me. That's your ancestor, the evil pirate, Long John Arbuckle. A traitor to this country. So that's why the villagers want to run me out of town. Boy, 200 years is a long time to hold a grudge. These are actual items from his ship. His sword, his hat, his cat's dish even. Hmm, come this way. My ancestor? A traitor? He stole some important maps that belonged to General Washington. It's all here in Long John's diary. Uh-uh, Odie. It's not nice for you to read someone else's diary. No. So I'll read it to you. October 7th, 1781. We sighted the American warship Endeavor at the mouth of the Potomac River, and seeing no other ships in the area for plunder, as a battle at Yorktown was imminent, my hardy crew and I decided to capture her. All hands ahoy, into the yards, and secure the topsails, men. We'll soon have this fat prize. Shiver me timbers and aye aye, Captain. Hurriedly, I boarded the Endeavor. My faithful cat was ever at my side. Masters of her. As usual, my crew confiscated the ship's stores, including a supply of fresh clams. I relieved the officers and men of their personal belongings. 
including a packet of maps penned by General George Washington himself during his days as a surveyor. These maps I knew to be vital to the American cause, but I took them. Wow, John's ancestors stole George Washington's maps. Your dog is drooling on the priceless diary. Odie, look what you've done. You've ruined the diary. You, Mr. Marion, look on this blank page. Writing is appearing. The blank pages contain writing in invisible ink, and his, his, his slurping is bringing it out. Who would have believed it? A practical use for Odie kisses. General Washington has us to secrecy about the maps I seized on the Endeavor, so I'm writing this in secret ink. We boarded the American warship and soon confirmed the General's suspicions. The Endeavor had, in truth, been captured by the British. The maps were, as I knew, phony. The capture of these enemy soldiers was kept secret such that I could continue to spy for the General. General Washington did, however, give me a letter of commendation so that I could prove my loyalty. This letter I entrusted to my loyal cat to hide and keep for me. He wasn't a traitor. He was a spy for George Washington. Wait, Long John wasn't a traitor. Help, listen to me, please. They'll never believe him unless we can find that letter. Come on, if that cat was anything like my ancestors, I'll bet I know where he hid the letter. A cat's most valuable possession is his dinner dish. Hmm. Please, please! We have discovered that Long John Arbuckle was actually a spy for George Washington. You expect us to believe that? In there, Kitty? If there was a letter here, we would have found it long ago. But of course, ship's dishes are weighted to keep them from sliding on the deck. This one has a false bottom. Is it the letter from Washington? It is indeed. From now on, Long John Arbuckle will have a new place in history. How do you like that? I save the day and some dead guy's a hero. Everyone in town is sorry about what happened, Mr. Arbuckle. Enjoy these clams with our compliments. We're going to open a whole museum to our town hero, Long John Arbuckle. Well, boys, I guess we can go home knowing we changed history. I don't know about history, but some things never change.